welcome back to another episode of the French are watching the world burn and what I mean by that is that there's a Russian German Sweden war going on right now and it honestly does not involve me so I'm actually kind of happy uh, and on lighter notes um you know I'm kind of wishing that there was some way I could join this war because you know as you know I do want to go kick the uh, Germans butt a little bit. Oh, this! Wow, Jimmy, you are really fighting against a lot of people. So, you know, I'm wondering if I formed an alliance with with Russia, maybe they might invite me to this. I don't know. Probably not though, because Italy is probably the world leader, and, and Italy doesn't really want to join this. But anyways, as we can see, the Russians are getting their butts kicked, and you know what? Ah, oh, my goodness, I really wish, hmm, I really wish there was something I could do, because this is like, this is like that golden opportunity you need to, like, just start going in and go killing a bunch of nations. Not killing a bunch of nations, but just dissolving them. I mean, with this, if I was in the war right now, I could definitely turn the tide and make it a great war, which means, which means that we could easily just go in and just go start liberating all these nations, liberating the great state of Albania, and you know doing a lot of things but right now it's it's pretty bad or well, at least right now it looks like we can't do that so hmm. but I am I'm pretty much amazed that the Italians are actually standing a chance against the uh, Germans this is you know this is like um, battles from like BC where like the Germanic tribe would fight against the Roman Empire this is you know just kind of equivalent to that see these two nations go at each other and, you know, it's kind of nice actually being on this, on a side note, it's kind of nice just being on the um, side roads. I don't actually have to be fighting this war, I just have to be relaxing. And I guess that's a good thing about, you know, being a neutral nation in this, is that we don't have to fight with them. Or we don't have to fight with any of these guys, especially if we don't like them. So let's just all combine right here in La Rochelle. Okay. And yeah, let's just continue our, our movements and, wow, this is like... Okay, so the Germans are strangely advancing over here. I don't know why the Russian, are the Russians fully mobilized as they are. Well, the, their mobilization stinks. Um, well, they should be. What they should be doing is like combining a lot of these little armies and trying to take over one little nations little by little. Um, I don't know. That seems like the smart idea. And a lot of crises are now starting to pop up with the uh, excursion of of all these like rebel lands or at least the conquest and man this is I guess this is setting up for the final crisis and free trade or well technically technically all of our parties are now protectionist so guess when our protectionist too and oh my goodness I think the UK might actually have a bigger problem than <laughs> than they ever did because they've been because now they have like a major rebellion starting to form up everywhere and that's because they've been at constant war for about a couple of years now and that is not good for your nation <laughs> to be at war constantly is not something that should be proud of and genderism we still advocate for genderist reinforcements okay so that gives us that gives our reinforcements the maximum amount and you know what let's just finish out culture I'm just gonna finish out the entire culture brand cuz I'm just I'm almost there I'm almost done so we might as well finish it off and apparently I'm still second. Um, how much do the Americans beat me by? No, it's not the Amer Now is it the Chinese? Yes, now it's the Chinese. Okay, so now the Chinese have taken their um, basically already big army and made it bigger. Um, not necessarily the most fair, I would say. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some of my other big army skills. And I'm going to recruit, let's see, I need to build another big gigantic stack, so I'm going to build a death stack, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 of those, need about 6 tanks, not from here, okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 tanks, and then about 2 infantry, I'll, I'll use regular cavalry for this and about one engineer okay so that will be my death stack over here just so I can have another death stack so I can put it like right over here in Kutzland cuz you know what I might do 
Because I'm really loving how weak the... Ah, oh, dang it! Dang it, the Germans are expanding! Ah, oh, that is not good. Okay, so, you know what? Germany, I've had enough of this. This is officially... You guys have become way too ambitious for your own good. So let's see, who are your allies with? Okay. Um, if I wanted to attack you guys, I would, but... Uh, okay, you guys are severely losing. I don't know why, but... Seems like you guys want to acquire Donshnik reason, acquire Finland. I don't think you guys are going to win. It's because I'm not in the war right now, and... As I thought, I don't think the... I didn't think the uh, Italians would be able to fight against the Germans. At least seriously fight. I mean, they can kind of fight it, but they're not good enough. So, I... Mm, I'm definitely, this is definitely setting up a big plan in my head to try to, no, I'm not giving you guys relationships. This is definitely setting up a plan in my head to go after the Germans, the Ottomans, and basically try to do as much havoc as I can. So, the Italians ended the war, probably with the, uh, probably with them losing, I'm not, I'm not doubting that, but... Now that the war is over, it's now time to start thinking of a pinch point where we can just go after the Germans with everything we got. Because right now, as it stands, we have the best advantage against the Germans right now. Because look, from a tactical standpoint, we have France, Italy, Poland, and Russia all gaining up on the Germans. They would not have one side that they could not defend. Except for Austria-Hungary, which... Which we... They hate us with just a burning passion, yeah. Austria-Hungary just hates us. I don't think we'll ever be able to, like, get them uh, into positives. But, you know, if they actually did like us, um, this would complete an entire ring around Germany, which then we could just go to... We could just go in and just wreak as much havoc as we can. Um, right over here, as you can see, our army is just as strong as the Germans. Like, severely just as strong as the Germans. They aren't, they aren't any stronger. My men could definitely withstand any type of German advances that came through. Which is good. Moralism. So, you know, that's good. And then rebellions in Scotland and Roman. Did I not deal with the Scotland? Oh, shoot. You know, I'm going to keep some forces in Scotland. And make sure that this does not happen again. Yeah, I'm just going just gonna to keep some forces in Scotland. This is... This is becoming actually a problem, so. Radio. Radio factory. Yay, we finally can build radios. It only took us a very long time, and so who has the radio market saturated? Madagascar? The United States and that's Sweden? Sweden? What? Madagascar, how did... How did you as my vassal... That no one ever wants... Get to be so powerful in the radio market. I, I don't know, but that's really cool. that's awesome and yet scary at the same time. I never expected you guys to ever amount to anything, but somehow you guys became the leading producer of radios. So, you know what? There's some things you get proven wrong in this world, and apparently Madagascar is one of them. And we should probably what I'm. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if I should bring this army home, because if I am going to go on all-out war with Germany, which will probably be the war to end all wars, and this is, this, I'm really going to coin that phrase, this is really going to be the war to end all wars, um, you know, maybe we should go out big, so, is there any crisis, well, there's lots of crises, I just have to wait for one of them to actually fire, like, this one looks really promising, the, the, the Greco one, where I can free the rest of the Greeks. Wouldn't be bad. And liberals took power again, which is kind of weird. And Austria is slowly just... Just, it's collapsing. There is no way Austria can maintain power. Mm. And somehow the Ottomans are beating... The Ottomans and them are beating the... Uh, uh, oh no. Did, did the Germans expand to Baden? Oh, shoot, the Germans expanded to Baden. So that means they now have a different army, and now I can build the Palace de Grandea. Gonna, let's do that. The Phantom... Oh, that was the Phantom of the Opera event. Oh, I love the Phantom of the Opera. Okay, and let's do the last thing, which is mass culture. Just let's finish off this, the culture guide. 
And so, the UK, you know what, UK, you can actually get relations. Because I actually do want to make sure you guys win this. Or at least could win this. Because this is, I don't want, in all honesty, I don't want the, uh, I don't want the Germans to win. I've never, I guess, I guess it's just, the potentiality has now become what I have feared. Which is, they now have the potentiality to scare the living heck out of me. And that's kind of weird, that's just kind of like a pause battle. Okay. But the problem with that is that I have a way bigger, I do have a way bigger army or navy than they do. So I could, I could always defeat them if I really needed to. Um, the thing though I'm kind of what I'm kind of getting mad about is that fat Chinese just get such an advantage when it comes to military building. Because right now they have way more army men than I do, and that's so unfair. No, I'm not giving you advantage. I'm not giving you the advantage, Germany. You guys get to just have to deal with me. But yeah. Okay, and then Germany, Germany's scary, Germany is coming up pretty quick on me, which I don't like, tensions dissipate, and the rest of the powers are actually coming up on me, that's kind of weird. Okay, China has no allies. Hey! <laughs> hey China, you wanna be friends? I mean, we haven't really liked each other in the past, but you know we could be friends. Okay, they're not saying no to it, and you know what? That's okay with me. I could probably, with my bad relationships, I could probably get one of the best alliances to go against the Germans. With all these powers with me, and and with, with me, I could probably just form this massive alliance that will eventually just crush the entire German people. And make sure that they never, ever, the will will be crushed and they'll never come back again. But then again, you know, it kind of would be fun to fight, fight against China. I mean, that's why I have this entire little outpost over here set up. It's to fight against the Chinese invasion. If it ever were to happen. But, you know, it might just be better if I just bury the hatchet and say, you know what? The Chinese and us, we aren't that different. They may have more people, but I have more power, so, you know. Maybe, maybe fate made us to be more together, and apparently I'm lagging like heck. I'm so sorry about this, people. Um, having much more close factories, but for the majority of it, I'm having really good factories, and I think what's going to have to happen is I'm going to have to put down to... A... Yeah, okay, that, that fixed the problems. I had to go down to one, okay. So the French, Ottoman, Aegea lands, and so what are the sides shaping up to be? Okay, let's see. Who will join the Ottomans in their time of preparation? It's not going to be me, because I personally just want to be a spectator. Let's hope actually somebody will actually join us, because I'm not for the Ottomans in this war. Like, it's not... Let's see, can Germany do it? Yeah, Germany... I'm thinking probably Germany will be the one to back the Ottomans, and then I'm going to be the one to back against the Ottomans, so that we can finally... I can finally add all those war goals I need to, to just rip the Ottomans to pieces. Okay, and now, let's see. Somebody actually going to take this crisis? Okay. Okay, so, I'm going to take the, Greece, the Greeks, okay, so now somebody, uh, okay, I don't know what just happened, but let's forgive or let's forget, let's just forget. The Ottoman Aegean lands, does that mean the Greeks won? No, the Greeks did not win, so I don't understand that. I get, apparently, no one wanted to go into that crisis, especially if I was on the other side. Yeah, that's just... I, that's how I'll spin the story, is that no one else wanted to join us because I was on the other side. So apparently that will not be the crisis to rip us all into the final crisis. Maybe it will be the... I don't know. Let's see. Call of Poland. The second Polish restoration of the Quicksilver provinces. Okay. Let's see. Who are their alliances? Sure! I could do that. Being up a little tiny nation, that's fun. And without any consequences to myself, this is going to be awesome. Okay, and let's get Spain. Spain has just basically devolved into this. You know, I don't you guys remember when Spain used to be like this big, gigantic, powerful nation? They were, they were about, they were seriously at one point, I think about third. And then they just, no, sixth in power. But then they just like decreased because they did not industrialize. And because they had so many rebellions. I mean, look how many rebellions are happening at once. Yeah, I feel so bad for you, Spain. You guys had so much potential. And are you guys level 6 sports? You guys are level 6 sports. So, vast, everyone, bask in the glory of a level 
six base. I mean naval base. Sorry, by the way, naval base. Uh... Okay, now you guys can start on production on this, or you guys could. And I have lots of money right now. I just realized that. So we have uh, Poland. Basically, just has to say we're done with the war. Oh wait, no, no, no. I'm in control of this war. Oh yeah. So I basically get to decide. So let's see. Peace. Yeah. Annex. And there, everyone. So everyone, um, I gotta give it to click off. As much as this, as much as this state was kind of annoying, in fact, it did not unite with Poland. It survived almost this entire game. So, you know, just like we did for Don for Danzink, I gotta give him a clap. Because you know what? They did good, even though they got conquered in the end. They did pretty good for surviving this long. So, now Poland is almost officially united in almost everywhere. They just need to tame this little region right here. Now they're officially united. In fact, I think they look like present-day Poland, if I must be correct. And Brazil wants an alliance? Sure, Brazil. I'll alliance with you guys. You guys are pretty cool. Okay. And, wow. It's so, it's... You know, when I go back to my Canadian Let's Play, it's so weird to see, like, Poland not actually formed, because I'm so used to the map now to look like that. And I finally, so we've officially finished up with our culture. Now I'm going to tech down the industrial parts, finish up with everything industrializing. The ultra liberals are trying to take power, while that is really not going to succeed. And we got another, we got a lot of our new men being made, so I'll put them over here. Any flags individually? Okay, there's a little bit over here, so. Well, they're not supposed to be. Because we want to make sure these are all balanced armies, okay? Any of my outer troops, any of my colony troops being made yet? And it's probably going to take them a really long time. For some reason, colony troops are just like the longest. And. Yeah, just as a quick glance, seems like no other colony troops are made. And I can actively form. Um, should we finally do it, everyone? So we finally close the hatchet and make sure that everyone is free and everyone has really, really good work hours. You know what? The French are finally ready to put that, to put it down and to finally say, there you guys go. We have done everything in the power that we could and have enacted every single reform known to man. So I should not see, and I mean, we've gone pretty good because we've allowed Universal. Oh, we're still first past the post. I just realized that. That's, that's a really bad system, by the way. Just saying that right now. Just saying. Um, but, yeah, it seems like we're finally done. We're finally done. That's so weird. Okay, and we got more of our armies being made. We're outproducing a lot now. To try to catch up with China's major war score of just unequivocally the, probably the biggest army on this earth. We're trying to build as many ships and still got enough ships. Yeah, I still got a lot of ships I could build. And just trying to build as many men, a new army right over here. That way we'll have, let me see, are any of them being built in Scotland or Wales? No, none of them are, building, are being built in Scotland or Wales. That's good. Okay, and we're having a little bit of lag here, so I'm going to zoom out. There we go. Yeah, when I zoom out, it doesn't seem to give us me as much lag. And I'm going to go put this army. It's going to be my army right here in Krakow. That way, officially, this officially unites my entire sphere, and I have a fully functional army, just in case the Germans were to ever attack me. I have every single one of my holes covered. So, this is all good. And, hmm, I wonder if there's going to be any more crises this year. Like, I'm hoping, what I'm personally hoping is, is that one of these crises with the Ottomans will come up, um, I'll go to war with the Ottomans, and we'll finally bury the hatchet. And, you know what? I've decided since last episode I'm not going to make friends with the Qin Empire. I mean, the Xing. That's what it's called, the Xing, because the Qin Empire was born a thousand years ago. But the Xing was born until modern times. Okay? Shift work. We have a lot of stuff. I mean, yeah, the policies. I mean, let's look at our population right now. Only about 46% of these people are actual real French people. The rest of them are just British, Irish. Irish is actually taking less of a spot. Korean, the Koreans have multiplied. Because they were only about 10. My world population last time I checked. So they must have multiplied over the years. And yeah, this is... I'm, I'm feeling pretty confident about this. And let me see if I can. Uh, view population. Yeah. Wow. 
Jazz, everyone! Yeah! Oh, man, we just invented jazz. That's pretty awesome. And let me see. I got more men being made. Another guard. Okay. Apparently, the Germans, I think, are starting to unite. At least, I thought they were. They were trying to unite the rest of the land. Doesn't seem like there's any more wars. Man, this is, this is like, way too much of a peaceful time. I mean... No one's going to war, everyone's just kind of like really peaceful. Oh wait, no, I don't want to split up my army. But I'm having really bad lag now, that's the only thing. Maybe I have to go down to 3. Oh my goodness, but 3 is really slow and that could really not help a campaign. Oh man, but uh, the lag, I'm not sure if the lag's like, I'm, I'm not sure if the lag's too bad for you guys or if it's, you know, good or whatever, but I'm, I'm really hesitant about that because I don't want this, let's say, to become, you know, unwatchable but you know with that it's about time to end this episode so you know hope you guys are enjoying these last final episodes and i'll see you guys next time